What's up and welcome back, it's your Tega the Deer. Today's video, we are going to speed up and optimize Windows 11 for better performance. But before we start, our sponsor for this video is cdkoffers.com where you could buy affordably cheap license keys, such as the Microsoft Office 2016 that recently dropped its price down to $34. Not only could you buy Microsoft Office keys, but also you can get way cheaper legit Windows license keys. Simply look for whichever license is suitable for your Windows installation, after choosing which Windows license you'll be needing simply click on the buy now button then enter dude 20 to save up 20 percent on your purchase you'll be taken to the payment gateways afterwards and once done paying you'll immediately receive the key and be able to activate it on your windows if you want to watch my full review with regards to CDK offer, simply click the link somewhere here or there. So the first thing that we're going to do is obviously keep everything updated. This is pretty basic so I'll just show you a quick demo in one way to keeping your graphics and system drivers updated. Let's now go to our desktop. To update your graphics and uh, other system drivers on Windows 11, simply go to the start menu and click on the settings. And then go to update and security and just simply click on the check for updates button and make sure that you are connected on the internet for you to be able to download some graphics and other system drivers update next we are going to disable all the fancy animations on windows 11 to do so let's go back to our windows 11 to disable all the fancy animations on windows 11 go back again on the start menu and click on the settings under the system go to the about and click on the advanced system settings go to the advanced tab and under the performance click on the settings you will be shown with this window right here that will show you the performance options under the visual effects you can select the adjust for best performance right here which will disable all the effects on windows however i suggest to keep the smooth edges on screen fads enabled and also the show thumbnails instead of icons which are quite necessary for me personally so go ahead and click on the apply button once done and click on the ok button and now you have disabled all the fancy animations on windows 11. another tweak is to disable unnecessary startup items which consume startup time to disable all the unnecessary startup items on windows 11 simply go to the start menu and click on the settings option once more go to the apps and under the startup feature or startup option right here you can untoggle any option or any apps right here from starting up on your windows so i have a cortana untoggled right here and as you can see this microsoft onedrive is also uh, currently enabled so i can untoggle this one and it will have no impact on my startup over time the more apps installed the slower your system boots up or starts up and one way to ease the slowness is to manually disable items on the startup list you might see different apps on the screen as the apps that will be included on the startup apps are the apps that are installed on your computer once done you can just basically close this window and restart your computer to see any noticeable changes after that we can now go ahead and turn on the game mode feature on windows 11. so go ahead and go to the start menu and click on the settings and then go to the gaming under the game mode simply toggle this button right here this game mode option will help your computer to be optimized while gaming so it's best to have it enabled whenever you run a game it will be optimized for gaming next we will now change the battery profile on windows 11 so go back to the home and then go to the system and then go to the power and sleep and click on the additional power settings you will be able to see here the preferred plans and show additional plans go ahead and expand the show additional plans and click on the high performance plan by default the balance plan will be enabled so i suggest to change it to the high performance plan go ahead and click on the change plan setting click on the change advanced power settings scroll down till you see the pci express link state power management and set it one to off hit the apply button and ok close this window and then go back to the home next we're going to uninstall any unused apps installed by default such as the onedrive that i don't personally use so go ahead and go to the apps and you'll be shown with all the apps that are installed on your windows so go ahead and scroll down until you see the microsoft onedrive which i'm going to uninstall since again i don't personally use this one 
you can see here that it consumes 151 MB on my computer. So that would free up some space on my desktop. Simply hit the yes button if you're shown with the UAC. And once it's uninstalled, it will just simply disappear on the list. You can now go ahead and close this one. We don't want Windows to be updating while we are working on our computer, right? So we'll fix that by changing our active hours on Windows. To change the active hours on Windows, simply go back to the start menu and open up again the settings. So go ahead and go to the update and security. And you can see here the change active hours under the Windows update. So click on the change active hours and change this one from automatically adjust the active hours to off and uh, change that one manually. So as you can see, you are now shown with the active hours window where you could put your start time and end time. You could configure this to fit your work hours on your computer. This you know better when you are using your computer or working on your computer and when you are not on your computer. So basically input the start time when you think you are going to start working on your computer and the end time is the last time of the day that you think that you are going to be stopping working on your computer. So basically during this time period, Windows won't be updating your device so that it won't be interfering while you are working on the computer. Once done, hit the save button and you can now go ahead and go back to the home. On top of that, we don't want Windows to be sucking up all our bandwidth so we better set that straight with Windows in the first place by configuring the bandwidth limits. To configure the bandwidth limits, we are going to go back to the update and security and then go to the delivery optimization and click on the advanced options. You'll be able to see here some settings right here, the download settings and upload settings. For the download settings, we are going to limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background and also limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the foreground. So go ahead and click on this checkbox right here and input the bandwidth limit that you'd prefer. You could just limit it by default to 1 Mbps and 5 Mbps. For the upload settings, we are also going to limit the bandwidth that is used for uploading updates to other PCs on the internet so we don't want Windows to be hugging up our upload bandwidth as again it would affect our performance on Windows. So go ahead and check that one and set that one to 30%. Once done, simply go ahead and close this window. Now that it is done, your Windows 11 is now configured to perform optimally and provide better overall performance. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks on the section down below. Also, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future. It's your tech edit here. See you in my next videos.